All right, we're now on figure 393. The first thing I'm looking for is this four and a half inch diameter reference circle by looking at that arrowhead and that arrowhead. It is telling me once again that the biggest circle here is four and a half. So I'm going to start off by drawing that. Circle, D inner, four and a half. I'm going to zoom in on it. Now they've got these crosshairs in here and then they right here it shows that the horizontal crosshair is going down one and one eighth. So I'm going to go ahead and put the crosshair in it. Once again if your quadrant buttons are not being highlighted you go to settings and make sure your quadrant button is selected. Uh, we're going to go to modify offset. It says to take this line down one and an eighth. So it says what is the offset distance? One and an eighth. It says what is the object you want to offset? This line down. What that gives me right now is my center points for my three circles. Center point for this area over here this center point for this circle over here and the center points up there. If I look at this arrow right here, the, that arrow right tells me the biggest radius for the big circle is a 5 8 radius. So I'm going to draw a circle. 0.625 another circle at 0.625 and another circle at 0.625. I can get rid of my crosshairs at this time. I can get rid of the horizontal line at this time. Now I am looking at the small circles. The arrowhead here is pointing at the small circle. It says it is a 9 16th diameter. So I'm going to draw those three circles now. Uh, so I'm going to draw a line from that point. I'm going to go D enter, .5625. Now that we have the got our three circles for our triangle looking piece, but before we do that, we need to add in the circle in the middle. That circle in the middle, if we go back to it, if I look at this arrowhead, it says that it is a diameter of two and a fourth. So the middle inside circle is two and a fourth, so I'm going to draw a circle from that point and a D enter two and a quarter. Once I have that circle, I can erase my outside circle and we are ready to go ahead and put in the, uh, the angle pieces. And we will do that by doing the quadrant to the tangent back to the tangent. You've got to right click on O-Snap, go to settings and make sure your tangent button and your quadrant button are on. So I'm going to go from my quadrant to my tangent, back to my tangent. If you zoom in on it, you can see that the inside line cuts the circle out, so we're going to erase that, that circle. <clears throat> then I'm going to draw my line from the quadrant to my tangent, back to my tangent, zoom in on it, erase out the inside line, draw the line from the bottom quadrant to the bottom quadrant. Now the last thing I have to do is trim out my inside circle. So if I go to modify trim, it says what do you want to select? Select everything. It still asks you what you want to select. There's nothing else to select, so right click or hit enter. Now it says what do you want to trim out? And I'm going to left click on the inside of my circles. And figure 393 is now complete.